Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick guide on the uh, Moonbathed Deep uh, World Quest in Genshin Impact as Genshin Impact 2.4 is arriving and you need to do this world quest to unlock the new Ankanomiya region. So uh, yeah, I still had this recording, so it's not too hard really, but I think I might save you some time. Okay, so first you go to this location next to Moon, if I say that correctly, Shrine. Um, and talk to this NPC and just, there's a lot of dialogue here, but just skip through it. And then after that, we'll have to visit four different locations and do a puzzle in every single one of them. So to visit the first one, the eye, just uh, jump off the, uh, the cliffs towards your west. And then you'll land in the beautiful location, which you now see on the screen. Yeah, just like that. And don't be like me and walk around not knowing what to do. It clearly says, uh, read the stone tablet at the eye. So you have to actually read the little stone tablet over there. I Did it really take me that long to... Yeah, okay, so read this. Um, yeah, just follow your elemental vision. It's not too hard, but the lines can be a bit fake. The first one is quite easy. Just turn around to go towards the boat, towards the south. And there's also some people mentioning online that you can only do this with animal attacks, but you can actually use uh, Geo as well, as you can see. I haven't tested with all the elements, but Animo and Geo will definitely work. Um, and once you destroy the uh, first of the three Electro Orbs, you just have to defeat some enemies. And you can just uh, activate Sean Ling's burst and she will take care of it. Okay, so the second one is right over there, near the ruin thingies. Just use an attack again and defeat them. And then from the final one, we just came from down below there. And now you need to uh, run to the higher cliffs. This one is a kind of fake because the purple lines tend to go into the rocks. But you actually just have to go to the highest point and then just over the edge and you'll see... Uh, the third Electro Orb. Just destroy it and defeat the flying thingies. Yeah, and that's basically it. Then you go back to the shrine and you get your first Spirit Pearl. So next one is here, a little bit north of Moon Shrine. Um, this is the Fang puzzle. And you just have to walk uh, up the cliff there, read the stone tablets again. And then basically what you need to do is defend the mechanism. There will come uh, several waves of enemies and you just have to wait out. Um, yeah, just protect it until the timer runs out. So this is important because I didn't actually uh, realize this myself when I just uh, went into this uh, puzzle or combat challenge really. Um, is that you, you don't have to defeat all those enemies, just have to wait until the timer is done. So there's no need to... you can uh, try to stall them a little bit, because the enemies get a little bit stronger every time. So if you just uh, keep stalling them, don't be in a rush, but keep defending the mechanism, then you're absolutely fine. And there's those thunderstones here, and they will send out a shockwave when it's charged, so you can use electro uh, characters if you have them. Um, and besides electro, I would recommend some Adamo characters maybe for uh, crowd control, just to, you know, a gene or a sucrose can blow them away from the, keep them away from the, uh, the mechanism. Venti would be great if you have it. And if you're very lucky like me, then uh, this will happen and um, you have to do absolutely nothing. Just wait out your time. I was a little impatient, so I didn't just, uh, I didn't just wait it out, but uh, this was actually really convenient. There is no escape. Okay, so then just collect the pearl and move on to the next location, which is over here. More to the north of the island, to the fin of Watatsumi. Just ignore the enemies behind you. You'll find two of these uh, circles with one um, thingy you can pray at. This one, 
the thing you just saw, the tall pillar, and uh, three fish statues. And the challenge is actually pretty simple. You only have to rotate them until this happens, uh, uh, happens until they face the middle of the circle and you see the blue glowy uh, thing on the floor. Um, the only difficulty is that if you turn one here, then the fish on the other stone circle will turn as well. Um, and so you have to um, stop the ones that you already did from turning, if that makes sense. And the way to do this is quite simple actually. You just have to turn them to towards the middle as I just did and then activate the pillar um, and that will uh, lock them in their positions so they can't change positions anymore and if you go to the second circle and you start turning them here then the, uh, the other ones uh, will stay in place. So as always grab the pearl and then go to the new location. This one is towards the southeast and this is the third challenge. Shine down. Um, you'll find some enemies here, so uh, just defeat those and read the stone tablet. And what you then need to do is activate the nearby uh, animal granum, electro granum I mean. It's uh, down the downstairs, well, down the cliff. And then you just uh, walk to each of these electro stones and you only have to come close to them and you will activate them. And just do that for every single one of them. Uh, I was quite slow and I still had enough time to activate them all, so uh, yeah, it's quite easy. Um, on the downside though, you will encounter some enemies once you're done. Um, they will spawn as soon as you've activated them, so just defeat them. Go back to the final pearl. So then you go back to Sanganoia Shrine, um, not Moen Shrine, the one in the middle of the island, and you talk in this location that you see here to the NPC again. Um, yeah, just uh, you can just skip over the dialogue again, of course. And then you have to go to the um, secret cave, which is more towards the east. Um, you can teleport there and then just go over these waterfalls towards the north. Just glide down and as you can see there's a location indicator and a bluish door and you will sacrifice those four pearls here. And then it opens. And there is the heart of Watatsumi Island. So to unlock the uh, heart of Watatsumi Island and complete the Moonbather Deep World quest, you just have to do these four fish puzzles again. And it's basically the same thing as before. You have to turn them all. So turn them all facing the middle. The blue lines have to be uh, glowing. And then you activate the uh, praying pillar and then you lock them in their positions and then you do the next one. So do that four times. Um, oh, and there will be a, a hydro enemy spawning um, after every single puzzle, but you just defeat them and uh, move on to the next. And yay, we've unlocked the heart of Watatsumi. So yeah, then this happens. Hydro stuff, flowing water, a giant ball of water, and a little dripping thingy drop i probably shouldn't narrate this anyway that's it you're done um now you have to do all the other stuff you need to do to unlock and good luck